As you saw by the title of the video, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, turning inwards, honestly turning inwards. But it happens when there is nowhere left to turn in the world, when we have exhausted all the avenues of looking for our inner self outside. You know, when you finally had enough of prostrating yourself before the feet of another guru, or you have gone to all the pilgrimages, pilgrimage sites, all the geographical locations that you're supposed to find this uh, divine, and you don't find it there. When you have tried all the religions, and it's not there. You know, when you've read all the best-selling books and you've spent thousands, tens of thousands perhaps, on the best-selling programs by the so-called self-proclaimed gurus, especially males, who proclaim that they're going to save you or show you what to do. And you come home and, uh, you know, the euphoria perhaps of the of meeting others, like-minded others, perhaps finally was off, and you realize that you still haven't found what you're looking for. Uh, you might have got some knowledge, you remember some memories, uh, you know, you might have met some nice people who share the same interests, but you're still not anywhere closer to finding what you're looking for. In, um, Jung, for instance, C.G. Jung used to lament pretty much his whole life uh, people imitating religion, imitating the way of Christ, for instance. He, he called it imitato Christi uh, instead of uh, looking for what they were missing within. They were imitating through religion, because that's what religion tells us to do. And it's not just Christian religion that does it. It is the religion of uh, Judaism, it's, uh, it's Islam, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, you know, the way of the Buddha. Uh, people just uh, imitate, try to imitate the way the Buddha that, uh, you know, he found enlightenment. So they go around all these trips and uh, to Buddhist monasteries and read the scriptures from front to back, beat, them, beat themselves over the head with uh, books about Buddhism, this and that, and they remember these elaborate schemes and, 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 and quotes and uh, elaborate uh, exercises that they have to do. And they sit there for hours and recite these um, mantras and whatnot. Fine. If uh, it has worked for you, great. But I come across people every day nearly who have searched and not found anything that the, what they were looking for. You know these exercises. You know these um, scriptures and so on. And you could also talk about now imitato Jungi, that is to say, imitating the way of Jung. You know, Jungianism, uh, some now call it as a religion. It's no longer just a, uh, as Jung wanted it to be, an example of doing it yourself, of finding what you were looking for within yourself. It's what Jung did, he found it within himself, and he wrote about it. He used uh, dreams, visions, alchemy to do it. Art, you know, he sculpted, he painted, and he wrote. He wrote, uh, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of pages, maybe less. Um, but he wrote, and it is through writing that it came through him, through painting, through sculpting. He used to work with stone and so on. Many speak the same way that you know uh, you can 
can find it in Reading. You know, Joseph Campbell found it in Reading. He used to sit um, uh, for hours, eight hours a day, and just read from cover to cover. He read everything about mythology. That's how he got it. He got it eventually came to him that, you know, that this is it, uh, that everything is uh, just simply one story repeating itself in various and in, in, in numerous mythologies and, st and fairy tales and legends. It's just one, one theme, which is, which is what religion is as well. It's the theme of going inward and the recovery of your soul, of your divine part. And then he wrote about it. He lectured about it. And he spoke about it publicly. And this theme also re uh, repeats itself in movies, you know, in the Star Wars, in, uh, in, the, in the Matrix, uh, in the Lord of the Rings. There's just a few uh, better known, but almost every uh, movie, if you know how, what to look for, you will realize that it, just, it, it is repeating itself. The theme of, of going inward, of going, of the journey, of the quest, of recovery of your divine part. So what I wanted to say um, uh, about this today is uh, that uh, you will really not really find that what you're looking for, you recover this uh, divine part until you have exhausted all the avenues outside of yourself, looking for it in gurus, you know, prostrating yourself before the feet of another guru going to the ashrams, or traveling to India, or traveling to Tibet, Africa, going, <laughs> going to, the, uh, to Egypt, to the pyramids. And, and I know people have been traveling to uh, caves, for instance. You know, they are traveling to see the deepest caves and uh, uh, looking for it there, or even the old... Uh, uh, Paleolithic caves in south of France, where you have the, the paintings of the shaman, you know, the uh, famous painting in Lascaux, I believe it is, and uh, of the man dress, uh, man uh, or shaman. At the deepest part of the cave, there's this drawing of a shaman whose legs are uh, that of a uh, lion, and his tail is that of a wolf, his body is that of a man hands of a man but his face his eyes are that of an owl and he's uh, he's got the uh, horns of, of, of a stag so you come to this real you know the deepest part of the quest the most inward part of the quest inward and deeper inward i call it to the most inward center and what do you find there you find that the all of creation is just single creation like the shaman it's all created from one from different parts but a single spirit that is embodying itself in many different ways and this is this this is the secret the oneness in uniqueness of all of creation it's found and people travel to these things and, uh, and fair enough maybe you're going to have a mystic experience when you get there something will happen an intuitive insight that this is what you're looking for uh, this is what uh, the message uh, that, that has been left there, you know, tens of thousands of years ago has hit you. It finally, uh, it worked for you, you know. You, you, you understand what's going on. You got it. Bang. Intuitively. Done. But most people don't. So then you have to turn inward and then you have to look at your dreams and visions and intuitions. You start to have, to, you actually have to do the inner work. You have to uh, start isolating, surrounding yourself with mythology, with books, with working with symbols, with archetypes, okay? And then something might happen. Then you might actually suddenly, it might take decades, might take years, might take an instant for you to get it. But if you don't get it, you're gonna be searching all the time, everywhere around, around yourself. Okay? So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today, that uh, if you don't find it within you, you're not gonna find it without you. Okay, thank you very much. See you then, bye.